Barack, we're here to send a clear message to you. We're not gonna we're not gonna give up until Bashar al-Assad is gone. You need to stand up for human rights. These are the fundamental principles that our country's always stood for. And how much more blood do we have to be shed see shed until you take some action? All right, we're back here at the Syrian rally, Saturday, March 17th, 2012. We're here in Washington, D.C. I've got the National Executive Director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, otherwise known as CARE, Nihad Awad. Nihad, thank you for being here today. Thank you very much. Nihad, uh, what state are you from? I uh, live in Virginia and I work in Washington, D.C. Okay. Nihad, if there was one message that you could send very loudly and clearly to President Obama and members of Congress regarding the situation in Syria, what would it be? I think it's very critical for our country not to be behind the curve on this very humanitarian issue um, and to take leadership. Um, our European allies have been pushing for the protection of um, the Syrian uh, uh, population and um, the United States can always take the lead uh, for many, many reasons because of our values as Americans, because uh, of our interest uh, and because of the fact that there is a slaughter in Syria and the Assad regime is not picking up any signal um, uh, th uh, you know statements uh, failed resolutions uh, are going to lead to failed results so we need serious action uh, our colleagues in Congress both the House and the Senate they have to take up the responsibility to uh, protect the, the Syrian people they have to provide um, humanitarian corridor uh, for humanitarian aid, for relief agencies, for uh, medical rescue uh, crews to uh, go in safely from both uh, the, the south and the north and different directions. Uh, the Syrian people have a lot of hopes in the United States, in the United States government, in the leaders in the United States, but also in the, in, in the American public because uh, our people in the United States care about victims like the, 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 the Syrian people. And also looking forward, uh, Syria is a very important strategic location. We cannot afford to lose it. We cannot wait until it's too late for us to intervene. The, the time is now and our, our leaders know that the Syrian people are in dire need for their leadership. So my, my message to our policymakers, to our elected officials is time is not on our side. Uh, and let uh, history record that we have spoken and our leaders can do something. Now it's up to them and also it's up to the American people, uh, to Syrian Americans and people who believe in freedom. They should not stay silent. They can pick up the phone, they can go and visit, they can send messages to their representatives, they can do their own blogs, they can speak to the media, they can organize. You know, everybody is important and they can make a difference in the lives of the Syrian people today. And the Syrian people will not forget what we do and what we say for them because this is a critical time. Every day, dozens of people lose their lives uh, unnecessarily because of the inaction of the world community. Thank you for... I agree. For, Nihad, for i got to ask you one more question, mm -hmm. Pick it, picking up on where you left off. A lot of people argue that we should do it for moral reasons, which is unquestionably true. However, you just talked about the strategic reasons. Can you comment about, number one, the strategic position of Syria, and then number two, if we don't act, about the likelihood of, of terroristic elements infiltrating Syria? Well, you know, the most important thing is the moral one, is the ethical one. We're human beings. Human beings are being slaughtered every day. Every day. I cannot see any justification for staying idle, for staying on the side, for, for, for being inactive. There is no justification. Any human being who is threatened by, by lethal force, like the force of the Assad regime, everybody should stand up and should do something and say something. Now, our interest should, should also comply with our values, not the other way around. We cannot comply our, our, inter, our, our values with our interests. It should be the other way around. We are an upright country. We have suffered uh, and we have taken the leadership to save Europe from, from massacres, uh, from, from brutal regimes. And we have saved uh, you know, the Bosnians. We have saved many people. The Syrian people are no exception to the rule. So my point is I reject the just focusing on our interests, our you know, our you know um, economic interests, our value dri drives our interest. And yes, uh, there are rumors that you know elements here and there infiltrate, but this should not distort the image and the integrity 
and, 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 and the right for the Syrian people to be free and to be protected. We cannot use uh, the couple of elements who may infiltrate the, you know, any revolution. Uh, this is not a justification and an excuse not to do what we have to do as Americans. But if we step in now, then we can have a tremendous ally in that critical region. Well, there are many, right? thing, there are many things that, that can be done. First of all, they have, they have to put serious sanctions against the regime to prevent uh, the regime from receiving arms and logistical equipment. Uh, second, they can really put pressure on the regime, they can isolate them politically. Then they can uh, um, uh, provide a safe uh, humanitarian corridor for relief agencies, for, for rescue efforts uh, to establish themselves. And of course, you know, if our government uh, is willing to take action, they can help in their own ways. Uh, without being um, involved militarily if uh, the, the, the leaders of the army here and the Pentagon advise otherwise. There are many, many ways to help the Syrian people. Let's not limit it by only one option. Excellent. President Obama, members of Congress, policymakers, you heard it loud and clear from one of the great thinkers and leaders in the Arab American community. We cannot sit on the sidelines any longer. We must take action. Thank you very much, Nihad. We appreciate your support. Thank you.